What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Let's have a quick discussion on what's going on right now. I'm going to start reading off this Reddit post I found really interesting. As of this morning, I was reading. I was like, yeah, man, this is this is tough. This is really rough. And I feel, I'm feeling a lot of uh, you know individuals who are coming into the industry or trying to get into the industry having a lot of challenges because of the you know hype that, that was surrounding it and a lot of the uh, sold you know fake information out there is just capitalizing on your wallet so let's let's start this right off uh, industry is way tougher than i imagined i'm fresh out of college full of energy and ready to dive into cybersecurity. but damn this industry is way tougher than i imagined every job listing wants three plus years experience certs i don't have and skills i'm still learning meanwhile i'm stuck applying to entry-level roles that either ghost me or want me to do way much uh, way too much for peanuts. Uh, it's frustrating because I know I'm passionate and capable. I've spent countless nights studying for certs, doing practice labs, and building home labs just to get a leg up. But the doors barely open. I feel like you have to already be in to get in. And without connections, I'm it's a dead end. Plus, the constant flood of new tools, frameworks, and threats make it feel like a race I'm always losing. I want to keep learning and growing, but burnout is real when you're doing it all alone and hearing no more than yes. Anyone else feel this way? How do you break through this wall? It's crazy that this individual feels this way. I mean, it's it's almost like, I don't, I won't even say it's almost, it is a cry for help. How, how do you break through this wall, right? He's doing everything right. He's studying, he's, you know, he's way over passionate, more than passionate, uh, building out labs and doing things that, that everyone else would tell you to do. So how would you get your foot in the door? Let's go over a few of these comments. You know, we, we try telling people that there are no entry level cybersecurity, but no one wants to listen. Is that true or not? What do you guys think? Comment below. Tell me if it's true or not. All right. There's this plenty of other people that are going to tell you you just need to do this you just need to do that this is how you get your foot in the door you know i i they could say whatever they want but in reality come on let, let's all be real here this is no joke um this is not no sell you a course follow me how to you know get into whatever cybersecurity or it or any other bullshit platform that you're selling or promoting all right unlike here i have nothing to sell you i really don't actually i'm just talking about things that i see and i'm in the industry and i'm having a hard time plus the experience that i bring with me 20 plus in it you know half of that time in cybersecurity, and you're telling me it's easy uh, it's not easy so well second comment here that's because the influencers who who trivialized the job uh, sh shout louder um yeah that's true i mean there's there's plenty of influencers that that just capitalize on this whole situation uh cybersecurity is a thing right they don't believe in the oversaturation or there's too many plumbers in the market or there's too many accountants in the market now everyone just has the same if not equal or you know probably 99% of the people who are out there on the market today super exceeds your capabilities, have more skills than you, have more experience than you. How do you, how do you combat that? You can't, you really can't. So um, it is challenging, right? So let's keep on going. Uh, that's a failure of the in, on the individual for not doing comprehensive due diligence. Now, I'm not sure about, about that specifically, but I mean, you're, if you're doing your own due diligence, meaning you're looking into the industry, you're studying and, and you're passionate about it and you spent thousands of dollars on courses to, you know, either complete uh, for graduate degree or, you know, bachelor's or master's, what are you going to do now? Like you're coming out into the workforce and no one's hiring you. And yet you're still getting tons of information from other people telling you that, oh, yeah, this is how you do it. This is what you're supposed to do. This is how you're going to get into it. Um, of course, I want to have a solution for you. Now, take it or leave it. But, you know, we'll, we'll come to that point in a few seconds. All right. So let's read another comment here. I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with influencers leading people to the industry or even talking uh, talking people into making the leap 
But before someone makes the leap, they owe it to themselves to do better research than just taking Network Chuck's word on stop using NC as he's uh, the first to pop into my head. So Network Chuck NC. Not saying he's uh, peddling the entry-level dream. Uh, and I'm sure he's not the only one. I mean, e everyone on YouTube, including myself, is here for a reason. Let me explain that to you. Now, I'm going to stop here with the comments because we could go on for tons and tons more minutes uh, into this video, but we're not. So anyone who tells you that they're coming on YouTube to help you, uh, in essence, they're really trying to help themselves at the same time. I'm going to be frank with you. I create videos. I put it out there. I get views. I get money. That's what YouTube does, right? There's going to be ads running on it. Unless you see a video from an influencer that doesn't run any ads, then he's doing it for the self-enjoyment of making videos and not caring about making money. I'm not going to lie. I'm making videos and money comes in because of the ad revenue. That's all I have. I don't sell any courses. I don't sell anything else. I may have a link in the bottom for a buy me a coffee, but that rarely even gets used by anyone here. And the ones that have done it so far, and I've sat with you and I, you know, we spoke about your resume and things like that. I greatly appreciate it, but I am not here to sell you a three, four, five, six month course and then telling you that, you know, it's going to be easy getting into this industry of cybersecurity because it's not. And, uh, you know, there's some challenges there, there you know, there's going to be a lot of people who uh, are fixated only on making videos to tell you this stuff because that's what they do. That's their job, right? They chose to make it their job. And that's how this whole YouTube thing became about. Like there's more popular people making uh, influencing right in, in the industry uh, and making money off that than they are individuals who are sitting in a nine to five corporate job making 150 to 250 thousand dollars now when i say 250 that's like on the high end you have to be like CISO level to make that plus more all right now if you're coming out and telling me that no 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 i'm just the sme you know cloud engineer blah 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 making that much well great for you i mean uh, by all means that's more props to you but to mislead people to tell them that there's more jobs like that in the real world Meanwhile, people are struggling like this post here. I don't know. I don't know what to believe. I know what to believe, but I'm telling you what you should believe too. Uh, and it's not all that dreamy. It's, it's not that many, honestly. And, um, you know, some, some of these people may uh, come at me and say, well, you know, don't believe everything some YouTuber says. I agree. I totally gr agree. Do not believe a lot of the words a lot of these YouTubers are coming out to say. Because they're all here for a reason, just like myself, which is to capitalize on making extra side cash for making videos on YouTube. Now, I make barely any. I mean, you can see my subscription, my subscriber base. I said subscription. I don't have a subscription. I, my subscriber base and the views that I get from my videos, I do it because I actually enjoy it. Now, are you going to see ads? Yeah, you're going to see ads because um, by default, uh, YouTube just keeps them on. I could turn them off, but... You know, I, I definitely want to, um, you know, make something out of this. I'm not going to lie and tell you that, oh, I, I love cybersecurity so much that I could work for a corporate job and, and get paid $30,000 a year. You're in it for the money. You went to school to study so you can make money. You went to anything, any profession. I'm not saying that you're you're doing this out of pure love and and. There's no cost to it. Of course, there's a cost. There's a balance between loving it and the reason for you to love it because there is a goal or a pot of gold that you're looking to achieve. And that pot of gold would be one, either a hopefully a six figure job at the end of the rainbow, right? When you land this nice job and everything will be nice and smooth, everything will be you know, flowing at that point in time because this is your dream to do what you're, you know, studied all these years doing, right? So, yeah, I mean, um, it is tough right now. And and again, I, there's plenty of videos telling you otherwise. But I don't know how many videos are out there telling you that this shit 
that we're experiencing right now is it's not easy, right? Who's telling you the market is saturated? Who's telling you that it's freaking difficult as hell to get into cybersecurity? Who's telling you that, yeah, maybe maybe you do need to get like a help desk role first or you have to understand some networking um, and, and all those other aspects of IT before you can even get into cybersecurity portion of it, right? Because ultimately everything's under IT, right? There's a lot of things under IT. Which part of IT? Pen testing, red teaming, blue teaming, purple team, um, incident responders, um, you know, uh, threat hunters. There's so many, so many avenues, so many streets, different ways of prospering under uh, cybersecurity. And honestly, I think this whole cybersecurity thing really went out of hand five years ago. Um, it was oversold, uh, over promotionalized, um, you know, a lot of talent uh, has grown from people who were uh, from IT networking, um, system administrators, uh, developers, you know, things like that. And, you know, it's progression, right? Uh, people change, people adapt. And I, I, you know, I know people who have or are sitting in CISO position without any, any technical experience. You know, they, they have a risk experience, they have knowledge, but they acquired the, the technical aspect as, as they went on, but they never had the hands-on, never had the hands-on. Um, it is challenging uh, because that's, that's how you come across people who like, you know, they, they, they're sitting in high level positions, getting paid tons of money, but yet you feel like they don't know anything. And there, there's a lot of people out there. They get lucky networking. Uh, they, they know the right people. They landed the right job. They pass, you know, the interview with flying colors, but that doesn't always necessarily equal to you knowing everything. Um, or qualify for that role. So I wanted to share that with you guys and uh, you know, stay tuned because whatever comes out of this channel and myself is m reality. I I'm just gonna put it out there. I have nothing to prove or to sell to you. You can disagree with me all you want and you can also uh, you know, say that whatever it is that I'm saying, oh, I'm definitely not promoting anything, but whatever I'm saying and, and you don't agree with it, that's fine by me. Just, you know, you can comment or you choose not to comment or you choose not to watch any of my videos. I, I, it's, it's just as simple as that. Uh, YouTube has tons of other YouTubers that, you know, uh, spew a lot of nonsense, a lot of garbage in my opinion that I feel like. But, hey, you know, each their own. Um, and uh, I, I think uh, that's that's how... How this is uh, becoming right now with cybersecurity, the market is definitely tons and tons of people with more than qualified experience not landing roles because the saturation between a lot of talent and especially with organizations letting go top talent because even though they're in the positive net revenue is concerning. And uh, cybersecurity apparently is taking a back seat to the hotness of what the current culture of trend is, and AI is taking over that. All right. So, just putting that out there. Uh, do you need to know AI at this point, or speak AI language, or get your hands on AI technology in order to advance to the next level? I would say most likely. And that's probably where I'm going to leave it off now is that you need to start learning AI. Uh, prompts, building it out, how do you utilize it, what the terminologies are, I think that's the next wave. That is the next wave. Uh, guaranteed that's the next wave. So cybersecurity, where do we stand right now? Well, case in point, I just read this post. That doesn't reflect every single person, but so far, if you look at the trends, it's reflecting a lot, a high percentage of these individuals who are graduating from colleges with this cybersecurity degree. All right, just putting that out there. Thank you guys for being here. Please hit that like, comment, subscribe, of course, and I'll see you guys again really soon. Take care.